Fortnite Mares 2024 has been fully revealed with a new event pass giving free skins and rewards, new collaborations, brand new mythic weapons, and much more that we will showcase in today's video. And if you guys want to be gifted any of the new skins dropping into Fortnite shop, all you have to do is drop a like, make sure you are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on, and leave your epic usernames down in the comments below. But Fortnite Mares 2024 is going to have so many collaborations, the first of which has already started to be teased in game. In this random attic at Doomstat, you'll find a TV with static playing on it. And based on these images found in Fortnite's files, this is a teaser for a Saw collab coming to Fortnite for Halloween. As we get closer to Fortnite Mare's update, Saw will appear on this TV, revealing his new skin that we will be able to get in Fortnite's item shop. Data miners also found that the Fortnite Mare's update will include three new points of interest in six landmarks, which is a ton of map changes for a Halloween event. These new points of interest are actually going to be tied into a new collab a part of this year's Fortnite Mares event, which is Marvel Zombies. For those unfamiliar, there is a line of Marvel Zombie comics that were so popular that Disney is now making an official show that is supposed to release later this year. Of course, this sets up for a perfect collab with Season 4 already being Marvel themed. Plus, there are so many zombified versions versions of all the iconic Marvel characters that are already skins in Fortnite that they could make zombie versions for basically any of them for Fortnite Mares. This would make for a great Fortnite Mares event pass to get free rewards and skins based around this collab. The reason this ties in to the new Fortnite Mares map changes is because based on the Marvel Zombie comics, Galactus dies and the Brood, which are these insectoid aliens, plant eggs in his rotting corpse. This results in the birth of a new intelligent and parasitic race that infect others known as the Respawn, but they're basically zombies. This could be why we see a dead Galactus helmet out in Fortnite's ocean right now. We all thought initially that Doctor Doom is the one who took him out, but since Chapter 5 Season 4 is so heavily based on the Fortnite Times Marvel comics, Galactus could be out there because this is where the Marvel zombie virus is originating that will go on to infect the Marvel heroes on Fortnite's island currently. This would be a perfect way to transition into Fortnite Mares 2024 with a banger storyline based collab and this would mean Galactus's helmet could also be a brand new point of interest or at the very least one of the six new landmarks that we are going to be able to visit and see. Another horror icon coming in this year's Fortnite Mares event is Jason Voorhees. Last month on the infamous Friday the 13th, the official Jason Twitter account was active and one fan replied asking to announce Jason in Fortnite. The Jason Twitter account responded with the eye emoji which most of the Fortnite community took as a big hint and teaser that Jason will be coming in Fortnite Mares for 2024. Obviously this could be top tier bait from the Jason Twitter admins but considering we have had other horror icons released in past Halloween events this could be very real. Especially considering we already have a confirmed collab with Saw coming which is another infamous Halloween figure just like Jason. On top of an item shop bundle, Jason also opens the possibility for a Fortnite Mares Mythic in the form of a knife or blade, which would be a melee attack based weapon, which we haven't seen Fortnite release in a very long time. We also had early teasers shown back during the D23 livestream that initially revealed tons of future collabs coming to Fortnite. But during this livestream, they did briefly show a Fortnite Mares teaser that revealed three Disney villains, all of which were said to be coming this fall, which is clearly going to be October. The three villains coming to Fortnite this Halloween event are Captain Hook, Maleficent, and Cruella de Vil. And there's no better time to release villain characters than Fortnite Mares, so expect all three of them to be getting skins released during this year's event at some point into the item shop. Also make sure to add us on Snapchat for more giveaways, daily news, and special item shop gifting. We also have Mephisto coming to Fortnite Mares 2024, which based off the Marvel Marvel Comics is the devil who oversees the underworld. It has become clear that Doctor Doom has been using his big tall tower at his castle point of interest as a portal to summon Mephisto. The large circle of lava and strange symbols surrounding it is how Doom would open a portal to hell to get Mephisto to Fortnite's island in 
the first place. And the entire reason Doom is summoning Mephisto to begin with is to try and bring back his mother from the dead, who based on the comics sadly passed away. This is why you can find a shrine statue of his mother out in the forest part of Fortnite's island currently. But Mephisto can bring the dead back to life in return for someone's soul. This opens up the possibility for many of the currently dead Marvel characters on Fortnite's island to also be bought back to life depending on who strikes deals with Mephisto. This was our initial theory on how Galactus would come back to life and return to Fortnite during this season. But now that we know he is there to tie into the Marvel Zombies collab, I'm not sure if that's still a possibility. Either way, Mephisto will be a new skin that we can use a part of Fortnite Mares 2024, and he was actually teased secretly on this loading screen that was released with the Ghost Rider skin where we can see Mephisto's silhouette in the background. This will most likely be linked to one of the new points of interest in changes leakers found in the files since Doom's Tower is where the summoning will be taking place. We could expect his castle to be drastically changed after this happens in the new update. Data miners also confirmed we will be getting a mid-season mini live event a part of Fortnite Mares 2024's update. There will be a countdown timer in-game shown for this event and we believe this event will be showcasing Doom summoning Mephisto from Hell or Doctor Doom himself arriving to Fortnite's island for the first time this season. Either one would be amazing as it connects to Season 4's overall storyline and lore while also transitioning to Fortnite Mares and the spooky vibes for Halloween. We are also expecting to get an end of the season live event as well, but that will link to Fortnite OG2, which will be for another video because there's already a lot of leaks based on that. It's also worth noting that a part of the Marvel Zombies comics, there is one dedicated to the Fantastic Four, which as we all know, had tons of Easter eggs a part of this season. They made it very clear that Doom took all of them out, leaving them around the castle as trophies, which had us thinking they would never be released as usable skins. But now that we know Marvel Zombies will heavily tie into Fortnite Mares 2024, we could see them released as zombie versions of themselves. And of course, there is a possibility that Mephisto also revives them, allowing us to use the normal versions of them too, but we will have to wait and see what happens during the upcoming mini live event and how much Mephisto will play a role in Fortnite Mares 2024 and the storyline. The final potential collab we could be getting for Fortnite Mares 2024 is coming from leakers who tweeted saying Skeletor from Masters of the Universe will be coming to Fortnite. This is from the same source that told me about other collabs that have come to Fortnite such as Future Trunks and My Hero Academia. He then goes on to say there is no information for when this is going to be releasing but considering Skeletor has that Halloween vibe to his design and look this is probably going to be another collab skin coming in the item shop for this year's Halloween event. So of course leave us your guys' thoughts and theories based on all the leaks and information for Fortnite Mares 2024 in the comments. We'd love to know what you guys have to say.